people have been asking me how I made the power boom jig. So by request, here is how I did it. I had to measure the shaft of the power boom with a uh, ca digital caliper to find out how big of a hole I needed to make. Then I used a Forstner bit and found the center of the pressure treated 2x6 for which to make the hole. I could have used a paddle bit, but that was too messy. I figured I'd go with a cleaner cut, hence why I used this Forstner bit. So that came out nice and clean. So then this training wheels had these two protruding pieces coming out of it, and I needed to find a way to make the side wall flush with the wood. So I used two different size Forstner bits and made a home for these so they sit inside the wood. So that way that angle would sit flush with the wood. So this is what it looks like flush inside against the wood. Then I used three lag bolts to go ahead and hold each side piece together to make it nice and solid. Then I had to measure the distance of this bracket because I had to make sure the distance was the same on the other side so that way the wheels sat level to the ground. So this is it in its finished position but notice how over here these wheels were flexing under the weight of the load so I needed to come up with some sort of an axle to make this more solid and prevent this from flexing so that's why I went with this axle not axle but it's round rod that I used as an axle now this rod was too thick to fit inside this hole so I had to make this hole bigger so I used a step drill with some cutting oil and made the hole bigger so it fit so now it's got plenty of room then I had to use a reciprocating saw to go ahead and cut the axle to width. Then I had to cut the holes for the carter pins that would hold the wheels into place. So now here you see the axle and you have hole number one, number two, number three, and number four. So the wheel would sit inside here. And so this is it fully fastened and that is where I used a hose clamp to go ahead and hold this side of the shaft against the wood and on the other side is another hose clamp so it keeps the wood in place together so this is the training wheel setup that I had used in this particular jig and those were the old training wheels but obviously they were too small and I need to go with the larger diameter to handle the uneven surfaces. And this shows the carter pin that actually holds the wheel into place on this side. I believe I have a better picture. Here we go. This is where it shows the carter pin holding the wheel into place. So the next one is a video of this running on uneven terrain. So you can actually see how easy it is to maneuver even though the terrain is uneven. That's more carter pin there. That's a closer view of the carter pin. And here's the video.